Right, we ready? All right, good morning. On Wednesday, September 18, 2019, two Chevy County Sheriff's deputies were shot and injured while serving a felony warrant. Today's press conference is being held to update the public on the deputies' condition and subsequent recovery. Sheriff Bonner will take questions following the update. As a reminder to our media partners, this is an active investigation by the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Sheriff Bonner. Thank you, Captain. First of all, good morning. Starting off with this, um, I would like to thank my entire agency, uh, the Chippewa County Sheriff's Office, for their response to these officers at the hospital. We had officers that responded that were on duty, officers that were off duty, that came down to Region 1 and to check on our officers as well as their families. I'd also like to thank the numerous number of uh, law enforcement agencies our partners here in the community that have called me and offered uh, their um, their help, their assistance with anything along this investigation. Uh, special thanks to Director Mike Rollins and the Memphis Police Department, who Mike and I talked and uh, he offered any help that we might need as an agency to uh, to get past this. Also, Region One, who this community is so blessed to have in this region, uh, the the doctors and the nurses, the way that they treated our officers, treated their families. Uh, we certainly do want to appreciate them. And we also want to thank the community for all of their prayers. I've received phone calls from churches, from pastors, uh, just leaders in the community uh, offering their support to our officers. And it does mean a lot to these officers and their families. Now, when I returned to Memphis on Wednesday morning, I had an opportunity to go by and speak to the deputies that were injured. Uh, I visited with them, uh, had an opportunity to speak with their families. Uh, our officers, thank God, are, are, are doing well. Um, as you know, we had one officer that was shot uh, six times, uh, even took one in the vest. Uh, he's doing well. He's surrounded by his family, uh, his parents that came in from out of town, his brothers and sis sisters. Um, had an opportunity to speak with uh, the deputies that were involved in the shooting to, uh, to check with them to see how they were doing. Um, also talked to the officer that was, was bitten by a dog. I think uh, everyone knows that now. Uh, he was injured with a dog bite. Uh, spoke with him and his wife. Had an opportunity to speak with them as well. And everybody's doing fine. Um, you know, we were very fortunate, uh, very blessed that um, that this turned out that these officers did not get harmed or hurt uh, any more seriously. Um, we still want to offer our condolences to the suspect and his family uh, to, and uh, ask the community to continue to pray for them as well. Um, the deputies will be recovering at home. They were released from the hospital. Uh, this is going to be a long recovery. Um, we will debrief them, defuse them. It's a long ways to go to get back to their mental state, to get into their mental state, to make sure that they are okay mentally as well as physically. Uh, all the officers that were involved uh, were, will be treated uh, with, with um, our debriefing program where we have professionals to come in and talk with these officers to make sure that they are emotionally sound before they come back to work. Uh, we do have four officers that are off right now uh, with this investigation. And with that, I'll try to answer any questions that you might have. Yes? Can you talk about the, uh, the dog bite? Uh, do we know if that dog was on the property? Was it a, a canine, an officer canine? It was an officer's canine. It was an MPD officer's canine. As you can imagine, when the shots were, the dog, the canine was in the, the house with them. And when the shots were fired, we think that the K-9 just got excited from all the gunfire. And uh, unfortunately, he bit one of our officers. You said shot six times. Can you talk a little bit about the dangers of serving these ones? Well, um, as I talked to the officer and I told him, this, this is what we do. Uh, you know, this 
fugitive apprehension team. They go after the worst of the worst, and they, you know, they go out there and they seek people with felon. This guy had a, a attempt murder warrant, murder one warrant. So you know, they, it's just inherent dangers of the job. Um, they went in um, and you know look for look for these guys and. And uh, it's just a dangerous job. It's a very dangerous job. Sheriff, I, you had just mentioned six. Is that the number, to your knowledge? We've heard committee conflicted reports on the number of times shot. You, to your knowledge, it's, he was shot six times. To my knowledge, he was shot six times. One even, well, actually seven, but one was in, in the vest. He took one shot in the vest, and he was shot six other times along his body. Six other times in, like, the leg, other parts of the Legs, body. Legs, body, in his legs and in his shoulder. And preliminary reports indicated they the other deputy was bitten in the buttocks, is that, the, is that to your knowledge? That is to our knowledge, but we're still investigating that uh, uh, as to uh, whether he was shot or, but we do know that he was bit. What do we know right now about body cameras? Were they rolling? Has that been provided to the TBI? What do we know about that? Those officers did not have body cameras. Uh, they do undercover work um, with their, everything that they do is, is undercover. Uh, they ride plain clothes, plain cars, except for when they go in to get a fugitive. Now, once they go into, they've identified where the fugitive is located, they know for sure, then they suit up, as, as we call it. They put on all of their raid gear. They have heavy duty bulletproof vests. They don't wear the normal vest that's under the shirt that you see officers wear. They, they wear a little bit more um, body armor, if you will. And so, uh, so make sure that they are readily identified, that there's no question about that these are sheriff's deputies. And there's one more question. I, a witness told me that somebody went into the home, and, or that the suspect rather went into the home and told them to get out with her children. Can you confirm any of that? I can't confirm that. All of that's still under investigation. And as Captain Buckner said, TBI has the case, and, um, and they'll be releasing it when they get done. And is there any time frame or when you will release the names of those deputies? Um, right now, we're focusing in on um, getting our officers better. Uh, but we certainly appreciate the community thoughts and prayers uh, with us and the outpouring that I've received, the phone calls I've received. Uh, but right now, we need these officers to get better, and we don't want anything to, uh, to, to stop that, uh, the distractions, if you will. Uh, We've had uh, officers are still having families coming in from out of town. So uh, right now we will uh, we will talk about it later. Can you talk about your conversation with the suspect's family? I have not spoken with the suspect's family, no. All right, if there are any additional questions, feel free to email uh, the Public Information Office. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you all. Appreciate it.